Welcome to another Coaster Kev video from Six Flags Magic Mountain. Late last year, we got the permit record showing the demolition of the Golden Bear Theater. Seeing the start of this construction was definitely alarming and a lot of interesting things. And thanks to Chris from ACN for all this footage of the demolition. As the weeks passed by, you could slowly see the stage getting removed and then the facade and then finally the actual steel structure. It was quite an interesting thing and a lot of fun as I get to see a little demolition myself at work as a civil engineer. The amount of work that goes into demolition is quite amazing, so I can definitely understand an old structure like this taking a while doing any sorts of hazardous waste removal and testing. But it definitely was done quickly, and they're getting ready for something big. If you like videos like this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Let me know more of what you might want to see, and what I can improve on. I originally thought that Viper would be the one to go first, but in some regards it makes sense that the Golden Bear Theater was getting removed first to make place for this new roller coaster that I think is going to be coming here. The Giga is definitely not something that is very feasible as far as costing a lot of money, but we can definitely go in a different route. It will still be quite expensive using the terrain to its advantage, but we can definitely stay lower to the ground, less supports, and overall make it a little bit easier. Additionally, there is a lot of access roads along the mountain, so it would be not too difficult to get the infrastructure in place. Looking at all the construction that's been done, there's so much space that's opened up. We have room in the Golden Bear Theater, as well as around the surrounding areas, from the Pistachio Park area, down towards Full Throttle, and even towards Gold Rusher on the side of the hill. Additionally, we have a quite a bit of space on the other side, near Crisanity, where the monorail used to pass through. With that in mind, we could definitely make an airtime filled thrilling roller coaster or even something a little bit more family oriented to go along with the Bugs Bunny world. I think Vacoma would be a good option especially with Six Flags Great Adventure using them for the Super Boomerang. It opens up some possibilities for Six Flags Magic Mountain. Vacoma's innovation and variety will be a great thing for us to have some inversions as well as airtime that is different from the other. This would definitely give us the airtime that we really wanted and it would be unique from what we expect with all the RMCs like Twisted Colossus or Wonder Woman. Here's a look at the idea that I'm having for this roller coaster. It would definitely have a good presence on the main path and lead you into it. And the look at this one is we definitely want to have a lot of air time. We have a few inversions and overall it's a pretty tame ride. Nothing too intense but a general cloud favorite with four inversions and five airtime counts. So I hope you guys enjoy this launched Vacoma roller coaster. With that, I hope you enjoyed the roller coaster. This has been Coaster Kev, and I'm coasting out.